Finally, of course, us. Yet the fossil record shows, beyond a doubt, the world we have built had humble and very fragile origins. Twice, before we had even left the seas, we came close to annihilation. 400 million years ago, we fell prey to the giant mollusks. But it was the arthropods, the megabugs, who came closest to wiping us out, right at the very start of the arms race. Back then, we were very few and very weak. If they were ever going to rid the world of the vertebrates, this was their best chance. And Simon Brady thinks they just might have done it. It's quite possible that the arthropods could have just been that little bit more effective in their predatory strategies and their behavior, or the vertebrates maybe weren't quite so clever at being able to hide away from the arthropods. If those things happened, then the arthropods would have been able to eradicate the vertebrates. If they had, how different the world would be. It would be a world without any vertebrate, a world without humans. It would be a world ruled by a master race of super-evolved bugs. The arthropods would have free reign. They could maintain their large body size. They could basically not compete with any other type of organism. They would be the dominant giant form on this planet now. But what would they look like? Simon's final goal is to reconstruct that giant bug. In the ultimate biological experiment, he will apply the same evolutionary forces that produced us to create a new life form, an alien on Earth. He's starting with a bug that first appeared 300 million years ago, an aggressive, highly organized predator, the common wasp. We're gonna to need to scale it up. Is that possible? Though limited by its body armor, Simon believes that with a bit of added support, a six-legged bug could stand as big as a wolf. Uh, his body back up. At the original body. Now evolution would take it in the same direction as the human race. It would stand upright. The advantages of height and reach would change its body shape, allowing it to stand as tall as a man. And freeing up the forearms would allow the evolution of a hand. Three, three things coming together in the form of a right. triangle. Pause. Yeah. So if you can elongate the head slightly, yeah. like um, the alien in the film, okay, yeah. series of films. And with a large head, Simon's creature is ready to take the final evolutionary leap. This may have given the organism the possibility to evolve a larger brain. So it's reasonable to expect that it also would have been evolving intelligence. Wow. Wouldn't like to meet him on a dark night. <laughs> Simon has imagined a future evolution for the giant predatory bugs that first appeared half a billion years ago. In this scenario, they reclaim a planet we have always believed was ours by right. But as the bugs might tell us, just when you think you're in charge, Evolution likes to remind you, you're not. <laughs>